Na 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 na. Can I help you? Yeah, I uh come to see the show. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. No one will be seated after the doors are closed. It helps maintain the illusion. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to uh, Dead Walk Talk, no, episode number 45. Wow. Pretty close to 50. Uh, brought to you by the guys from uh, Doom Gorium Sword Emporium. <laughs> and that over there, chuckling softly under that incredible riot mask, is uh, Happy Wax. <sighs> and uh, we have Axe Master over here. Yes, I do. And as always? Uh, yes, the. Uh, the producer of the show, <laughs> Jim, Colonel Jim. <sighs> and uh, this week's episode of Dead Walk, or sorry, Dead, Walking Dead. I just get that screwed up now. The Walking Dead is uh, is uh, crossed. 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 I'd like to apologize about... Uh, <laughs> no, you don't ha- I know what you're going to say. You don't have to apologize about nothing. How cross I was last week. Because <laughs> it was well-deserved. All right, then. As, <laughs> as was this episode. We try to keep things, you know, family-oriented down here yeah. in the uh, dungeon. <laughs> You know, teaching young folks how to kill, fight evil and kill nefarious creatures of the of the dark yes. in the night. God, no! Yo, she bitch. Let's go. So, anyways, Frost, episode number forty-five. All right. All right. Well, you want to go or you want to go first? You go. You go. Ahead. All right. I'll go first. All right. First off. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta say, okay, so this morning, I don't want to bring, you know, relationships into this uh, this review thing, but I, I was at my girlfriend's house, Monica, this morning, and even she was upset. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Like to the point of like, like, just she was just you could tell she was just bothered because she like this episode and she even said it. You know what I mean? Like this episode or this show has successfully taken an awesome idea of a zombie apocalypse and turned it into a soap opera. Mm-hmm. They have, and yesterday was a prime example of that. And you know she was you know she was she was upset <laughs> to say the least. But anyways. It was, it was funny, you know, because I was watching the show last night and I was thinking the same damn thing. Like, you know, and now... And Mistress Monica, warrioress of the night, does not get upset very easily. No. She's cool as a cucumber. And I mean, you know, it's just... It was funny to see her like that. But, it, you know, I, I'll tell you, I was watching this, like... It's just... Like, they've just taken something good and they're just ruining it. That's it? I mean, we're investigating a scuttling in the hall, trying to figure out who attacked you last night. You bring me in here to look at stick pictures on the shithouse wall, man? You know, you'd think the second last episode of the season, or partway through the season, you'd think they'd have something awesome. But it wasn't. It was just boring. In fact, I had to fight to stay awake. It was just, you know, and now what? They've got, you know, Rick's... I know you don't like Rick, okay? But yesterday, you know, yesterday he's all set to go in there and kick their ass yeah all right you primitive screwheads listen up see this this is my boomstick and then tyrese has an idea which is fine but daryl's agreeing with tyrese listen let me just i don't know what you have planned to say so i don't want to take up too much time let me say this okay and again Monica said this. I don't mean to dwell on Monica, but I, she said this. She took the words out of her mouth because I was thinking the same damn thing last night. Everyone you've encountered in the zombie apocalypse has either wanted to eat you or kill you or shoot you or do harm to you, right? So why would you think that these people are any different? Why would you want to kidnap them and have like a trade? Do what Rick did or said. Go in there, blow them away, and be done with it. Why? why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, I, okay, you Took go. Words right out of my mouth. Yeah, sorry. No, I, you want you want me to do, give you a little synopsis of what I thought of this episode? Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Golly! 
Hey, Opie, why don't we go on down to the fishing hole with the uh, million zombies right up the road there, about one kilometer, and uh, yeah, we'll go fishing today. Hey, Barney, Barney, you ought to come down with us too. Oh, really, Andy? Really? Yeah, we'll go fishing. Yeah, I I'll show you how to use these, these little fish hooks I made by myself. Classic. Really? Yeah. You know, two guys sat there. I mean, one guy's a, a lump under a tarp. The other guy was on his knees the entire episode. Nothing yeah. happened there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you took the words out right out of my mouth. I said that to Mrs. Axemaster. I said, okay, so they're going to take Tyrese's idea. <laughs> Tyrese is the uselessest, the, the, the most worthless. Pussy on the show yeah, for he's the biggest sake. worthlessest piece of meat on the entire television show, and they're going to take his plan. And yeah, and, <laughs> and Daryl agrees with them. Yeah, and Rick was ready to go in there and kick some ass. Yeah. Now they got this convoluted plan about you know, I mean it was ridiculous. It was stupid. It yeah. was, it, it is. It's like their storytelling isn't, and everybody keeps giving me this story building excuse. Okay. Hey, they've been building story for three years now, yeah. man. Do yeah. something. You yeah. know, nothing happened. They. And, They've yeah. they've they've taken they've taken what could be awesome, and they focus way too much on like the the, the romance. Give me some sugar, baby. And oh. the and the and the story of like build character, but have some frickin' action in there as well. You don't need four episodes to build fucking character. Yeah, it's like, and then like uh, the moral yeah. dilemma. Two moral dilemmas in the in this in this episode. In case you guys didn't catch it. The uh, the priest who, yeah. I mean, what was the, what was the purpose of that scene? The guy digs his way out of the out of the church when he could have just walked out the door. He's not under hunter house no, arrest, it's a... right? It's like okay, yeah, I'm gonna dig through the floor, crawl out of this church uh. to waste a few minutes, and then he can't kill her because yeah. of the cross. Yeah. You know, okay, so there's moral dilemma, and then the other moral dilemma was obviously they didn't want to go in there and kill anybody. They wanted yeah. to turn it into this big hostage uh, negotiations. So I don't know. That's that's all the show is. It's repeated moral dilemma, moral dilemma. Jeez, I love you. Oh, jeez, I love you. Moral dilemma, and then and even Mrs. Axemaster is <laughs> getting tired of it because the, the zombies are like. Ch Sorry, yeah. Jimmy. I didn't mean to use you as an example. We're not trying to say anything about your looks. But. Another one. Another one. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. there's one. I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm, I was a little yes. I've thrown, I've thrown too hard last time. I haven't thrown many. He hasn't spoke to me since I, since no, I threw him. He's probably sore from last week. So. It's not broken. Oh! All right, rubber chicken. This is uh, rubber chicken. Where's our horn? we got to get our horn. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Where is the horn? The horn, the horn of plenty. It's got to be here in the closet. The Duma closet somewhere. The Duma closet. Jesus. All right, well, you know what we'll do? We'll use the, uh, we'll use the symbol of Yes. Plenty. Because these guys deserve a symbol tap. A symbol of shittiness. Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ready? Cool. cool. Rubber chicken. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Okay. Well, at least I didn't scream, and this is a family oriented show again. Yeah. And I don't know. Sorry, I don't want to go on. I don't even want to talk about this episode. It was just that bad. But really, like, how stupid do they think we are as an audience? Like, who did not see that the cop was trying to set her up at the end? Like, I mean, really? Come on. Like, I was only half. I was only half conscious for this episode. So yeah. So was I. I fell asleep. <laughs> and I, I could did. tell what they were. He was trying to do. Like, how yeah. stupid are you? Yeah. So. Okay. I, I mean, know. next week it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Maybe they'll unleash Rick because Rick was ready to blow the one guy away. Yeah. Pardon me, blow the one guy away. That's and, what it needs. But it's like you know, it's, uh, as a as a good friend of ours said, uh, Jay Latimer. Yes. Another warrior we know. Uh, basically said it's uh, Grey's Anatomy with zombies. It is. So yes. You know he agreed with our tirade last week, mm -hmm. and uh, we thank you there, sir. So anyhow, that was episode number forty-five. <laughs> rubber chicken. That's two rubber. Two. Well, that's. One rubber chicken that's both of us this yeah. year, or two rubber chickens? This is the second two rubber chickens for both of us, because so the Beth episode Full was... rubber chickens, two rubber, chick yeah. rubber, I, I, rubber chickens. I honestly, I honestly thought the Beth episode couldn't be outdone. 
last night was out done. So, anyways, okay. Well, okay. next week the big finale. So Ooh. yeah, so. then it's over. You know what? Thank fucking God. Pardon my language. Nothing you know is what? over. I need a break. Because yeah. that was really. I'm. Yeah. Sorry. Nothing is over. You just don't turn it off. <laughs> it wasn't your war. We asked you. You didn't ask us. You did what you had to do to win. But no, somebody wouldn't let you win. Then you come back to the world, see all these maggots at the airport spitting, protesting you. Who the hell are they to protest you, eh? Who the hell are they to protest you unless you've been there? Oh, sorry. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. We've been there, done that. This is episode 45. The Gungarium guys are signing off for another week. Thank God. Try to stay scared. Yes. We've got some Doom Gorm report coming up for you, too. Yes. With some cool movies that we will not rubber chicken, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Ever see Rawhide? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Well, then you know you gotta keep them doggies rolling. <laughs>